And now we're here in the kitchen with Chef Luke. We're going to do some cooking with squash. And what are we going to make today? Today we're going to have a, a butternut squash risotto and a savory butternut squash soup. First off, I'm going to throw a little olive oil in there. Now I always like to add my onions when you kind of see it shimmering a little bit. The, when you sh move the pan around, it kind of shimmers a little bit. Okay, then we're gonna add about maybe one medium onion. All right. Diced up. We're gonna let, let that cook until it's a little bit translucent. Probably about four minutes. All right. We're gonna salt and pepper. I always salt and pepper almost every one of my stages. So we'll salt, pepper. We'll just saute, keep moving them around, and they'll start to soften up and get translucent. And at that stage, we're gonna start throwing in our squash and rice. Okay, at this point, we're gonna add our squash. We're gonna saute right. this. And this is probably about a three quarters of a cup. We like to have a lot in there. Good flavor. And you just want to get that softened up Soft, a little bit? Not even. We're just going to cook it, you know, get it, get a little uh, oil on it, get it a little brown, or maybe a little bit, and then we'll throw in our rice. All right. About a cup of that. And we're looking to kind of cook the rice a little bit. When it cooks a little bit, it's going to start getting kind of a nutty smell to it. You'll, you'll start smelling a little nutty aroma. We're going to add a little bit of garlic and just lightly cook this. We don't want to burn it. Just a few stirs, and right. then we're going to add some wine. Right. A nice dry white wine will do. It's about half a cup. And then the wine goes in there and we let it sit for a while? The wine gets reduced down. I think we're going to add a little bit of sage here. Okay. This is just fresh chopped sage. OK, now, as you can see, it's almost all evaporated or soaked into the rice. We're going to start adding our chicken stock. Now, I like to have my chicken stock warm at a nice simmer so when we add it it doesn't have to warm back up okay. it just it's going to make the process it's already a long process let's not make it any longer okay so it's been about 25 minutes we're going to throw the shrimp on Season the shrimp, throw the shrimp on, and then we'll, we'll check the rice for doneness. Okay, I'll keep stirring while okay. you do that. Just a little bit of olive oil. A little bit of olive oil in a hot pan. <laughs> Salt. Looks like we're running okay. out of liquid like here. Little, so. let's, let's go ahead and grab some spoons and taste it and see. All right. See if it's uh, getting ready for being done. All right. And what are you looking for when you're tasting it now? Well, we call it al dente. And what that means is basically it's tender, but it's still got a little bite mm -hmm. to it. And I would say that's just about there. So at this point, what we're going to want to do is grab a little butter. This will help make it creamy. Mm -hmm. more, more healthy, right? Right. <laughs> So we throw, let's throw a few more in there. More delicious. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll let that melt down. And we'll throw some Parmesan cheese in there. You can Pecorino Romano or Parmesan Reggiano. It doesn't matter. Anything that tastes good. And I like to use quite a bit. All right. I approve. <laughs> Okay, at this point, we're gonna grab our bowl. All right. We'll go ahead and set it right here. Pass that over to you. Mm -hmm. 
Now risotto is a pretty rich dish. You don't need a whole lot per serving. So we'll throw a good, about that much on there. And then we'll take our shrimp. on top there. Garnish with a little chopped sage. And some more cheese. That is beautiful. And there you go. Wonderful. I want to try just a bite of this. Sure. Right. Make sure to get plenty of squash in there. Mm. That's good. That is That's delicious. Good. Wow. Thank you. All right, now it's time to make the soup. Yes, yes. We've this got the, uh, we've already got the squash out of the oven. It's been resting for about 15 minutes just to let it cool down so we can handle it. And we'll just take this. And it and already just, smells so you know, good. It's great, yeah. This, I mean, even from right here, you can just start eating it. You know, it's this, there's not much to be left to be done with this stuff. But it's, we scoop it out, you know. There's a lot of flesh in this big guy here. So we'll just, we'll, we'll take out what we need. You know. <laughs> Yeah, so much. Make sure not to get the skin, though. We don't want to eat the skin. Just the flesh. Take out the good stuff here. And this can be done with acorns. It can be done with, this could be a pumpkin soup. It could be, you know, any other of this, other of the varieties. It's, I just like the butternut the best, so I use butternut. And we got this from the farm, so mm -hmm. of course it's farm fresh, right? We'll put this up here. Turn our heat on. And I use lots of butter here. I would say probably about eight tablespoons. All right. Let that cook down. Okay, now it's starting to bubble a little bit mm -hmm. here. So we're gonna throw in, throw in our diced onions. About a cup, cup of diced onions there. And we'll cook those down with some garlic. Chopped up garlic. Salt and pepper. Okay, now at this point, we've cooked on our onions and garlic. We're gonna add some flour to make a roux. Okay. Basically, a roux is, is any kind of fat mixed with flour, and it's gonna, it's gonna be used as a thickener. Turn down our heat too. We don't want to burn it. All right. That was about a quarter cup. Cook that down just a little bit. Cook the cook the flour flavor out of it. And then we're gonna add our chicken stock. All right. Our fresh chicken stock here. And about how much? I got about a quart here. All right. And then we're gonna add some of our squash here. And we're gonna wanna cook this just, you know, 10 minutes maybe, just to finish, finish cooking the squash, get it nice and smooth. Okay. And then I got fresh sage. Make it savory. You can also and skip this step and maybe throw a little, uh, brown sugar and something like that into it to make it a sweeter one. Mm -hmm. I like savory more than sweet, so I got fresh rosemary and sage. And I'm gonna take out my secret ingredient here. Which is? Two ounces of brandy. We're gonna wanna cook that also for the 10, 10, 15 minutes. Cook the alcohol out of it. We'll bring it to a boil, and then we'll add our cream. Yeah, that 
looks great. Yeah, it's starting to smell really wonderful good. too. Okay, now at this point we can uh, blend it up. Mm -hmm. Got a nice velvety texture here, nice and smooth. And I think what we'll do is I got these fresh croutons that we made today. Just throw them right on top here. Wonderful. And there we go. All right. Thank you so much, Luke. Well, thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure.